you to have a, a group of up to 10 users and people to, to get together and really uh, interact over video um, in real time. And what On Air lets you do is you let, lets you take that conversation and broadcast it out to the world um, so that people can watch it live. Like uh, uh, any number of people can see and understand, see, uh, experience your, your conversation and learn from that. Um, and Nick, Nick House Single, a lot of people are asking, how long till I get um, on the Hangout on Air? You are rolling this out eventually to everyone? Yeah, we think the next two to four weeks, everyone will actually have access to it. We, we've actually had the product available since September, and we've been testing it pretty carefully with uh, lots of different styles of users, from large broadcasters to individuals. Uh, and you know, folks like Obama, uh, underwater hangouts that have taken place under the Great Barrier Reef, we've seen just an incredible variety of conversations that people want to go live with. And in the next several weeks, everyone should be able to grab it. Melissa Carlson of Reno in Nevada is using this component just like we are in order to connect with people. What do you think about the ability for anyone to, in the world to have the ability to broadcast? Does that change our job as journalists? Absolutely. It makes us 100% more equipped to deal with breaking news as it happens. A lot of times, if something happens anywhere in our area, we get a phone call, maybe an email. You don't get that one-on-one -on -one person interaction. Now we can actually have people be out at the scene live telling us, not somebody who's kind of scripting it the way maybe... Uh, one person or the other person would like to, maybe police or personnel, but they themselves a first-hand account. It's amazing, and it's definitely going to change the way that media deals with stories, especially breaking news. You agree with that, Dan McDermott? I do, and I've seen, like, yesterday we did a hangout talking about the French elections, and I had uh, somebody from Brussels come in, and I had some uh, uh, a British lord join us to offer their perspective from England, so it's fascinating. I imagine one day you might see a live hangout from a demonstration in Syria. It's a, it's a tremendous tool for journalists and for citizen journalists just to let people see and interact. It's like having nine satellite news trucks anywhere you want. Absolutely right, and again, that's rolled out today, and in the commercial break, we'll be talking here a little with Carol Lee about how she plans to use her hangouts on air. Now, here's a red carpet report. I'm Allie Pulaski, and it's finals time for The Voice. NBC singing competition series will decide its winner over the next two nights with the final four performers taking the stage tonight. So the finalists will each perform a solo tonight as well as one song with their respective coaches. Tomorrow night after the final votes are already in, the four finalists will perform two additional songs. The winner will walk away with $100,000 and a recording contract with Universal Republic Records. The dictator, welcome back to the Plaza and Rockefeller Center today. That's Admiral General Shabazz al-Din, played by actor Sasha Baron Cohen in the new movie The Dictator. He's the dictator of the country called Wadia, which he described for Matt Lauer. The dictator opens nationwide on May 16th. And that's it for your red carpet report. Thanks a lot. The Olympics are just about 80 days away, but check out this dog who is ready to compete in the rings competition. Take a look. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi there. Sorry, we, our, my producer gave me a wrap before we got a chance to get you on, but I wanted to have you share, tell the people who are watching how, um, how you are using Hangouts on Air. Absolutely. I'm Carol Lee, and I'm from Seattle, and I've got a True Packs organization of hotshot elite interns, young interns, and what we're doing is going to use Hangouts on Air to showcase their talents. So this will be um, live concerts, live charity events, Zumba or a hot hula events. Um, we have a fashion show on the plate. So we're very excited to see how we can extend the reach to our communities. Well, that is great. That is great. Well, I appreciate you hopping in today, here today. And sorry we weren't able to get you in with the group with the others. And, and thank you again. I appreciate Chi, Nikal, Dan, 